No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. Oh, yeah, that's good shit. Here we are. We're amidst a pandemic, and I'm out here making Madden videos. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to protect you guys all against coronavirus, but this is what we got to deal with for now. Before we get into the video, I just want to say a couple things. First of all, thank you guys so much for the support on Twitch lately. We just passed 700 subs. I did a vote, and the people have spoken. You guys want to see me bleach my hair. So I believe tomorrow I have an appointment. I'm going to bleach my hair, and so the next time you guys see me on Twitch, I will have blonde hair. Now, the next thing is a pretty big announcement that I'm sure a lot of you guys will be pretty happy about. The biggest criticism that I've gotten is that I don't upload consistently, which is very well deserved. It is true. But I graduate school in June, and instead of going to get a real big boy job, I'm going to continue to make dick jokes on the internet and do YouTube full time. So starting after June, I'm going to be a full time YouTuber and streamer. So I think the consistency problem will get taken care of. I will be uploading guaranteed every day pretty much in Madden 21. So for those of you who have been supporting the channel for a few years, going to be seeing a lot more of this face. And it is cold as shit in my house, so I'm wearing my girlfriend's robe once again. If you don't like it, suck my cock and balls from the back. Getting into the best and the worst comments of the day. The best comment of the day comes from Debrickashaw Wooching. He said, I heard you spent 1 million coins on a delay fade to Darren Waller. Very close. I spent 1.8 million, but he's worth every gosh darn penny. And the worst comment of the day comes from Trevor York, who said it's about a $7 Uber ride from his eyebrows to his hairline. <laughs> Those comments are hurtful, Trevor. A lot. Getting into the actual ebook, like I said, guys, this is part four. So, this is your first time watching the series. I would recommend watching parts one through three so you get the full scope of the ebook and you're not just kind of locked into this one formation. But again, this is going to add on to parts one through three. So, getting into it, it's single back, deuce close. This is formation I used to run all the time in Madden 17 and 18. I will say they did nerf it a little bit this year, but it is still very, very good. So you guys have been following me on Twitch. You guys would know I switched to Eli Manning. He's a pocket passer, not an escape artist quarterback. I realized in this offense, I never really was ro rolling out with anybody. I was, I was not utilizing my escape artist, so I figured why not switch to a hot route master quarterback. So that's why I'm using the Patriots today is because they got Tom Brady. Tom Brady has hot route master, and that's what I use in Mutt. So if you guys want to run it the same way as me, um, I have been using a pocket passer, but you don't necessarily need a pocket passer. It just makes everything a lot easier. So again, let's get into the formation, guys. Single back, deuce close. The audibles you're going to want to have is halfback stretch at square, uh, zone weak split. I never really run that, but that's the standard triangle audible. Bench and then PA stretch shot. The only plays I ever run out of this formation, halfback stretch, bench, PA stretch shot, okay? So to start, as always, guys, we're going to go over the run plays, and there's not really too much to say. I'm just going to give you guys a few tips on how to make these runs a little bit better. Starting off, with halfback stretch so the reason I love this stretch out of deuce close is because it's a symmetrical formation you can run it to either side just flip the play and uh, run to the left or right you're not locked into running it one way so like all runs it's a battle of the numbers so here it's a pretty even front you're not really uh, getting an advantage one way or the other but one thing you can do to give yourself a little bit more of an advantage however it does give away which way you're running the ball is you motion over this tight end so now we do have a little bit more of an advantage to the right so when we hike the ball you see he picks up that backside block and then we get about eight yards there and you can you can pretty much do whatever you want with this run play here. I'll run it again this time. All right, this is a this is like a quarters look. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to run it here. And of course, they shoot the gap. But as you can see, our quarters doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to talk about that one. Looking at this front, you can tell there's a lot less people on the left side of the field. So in this case, this situation, you can just flip it, run it to the left. You're not locked in running to the right. And then obviously, don't sprint behind the line of scrimmage. And then once again, we're getting about 10 yards. This is just like any stretch play. You're, you're going to get solid yardage if they don't have good run D. So looking at this once again, it looks like I have a little bit better odds running it to the left. So I'm just going to flip the run play to the left. And this is a run play, which I'm not really banking on getting, you know, an 80 yard touchdown or making this everything. This is just something that's going to wear down your offense. You're going to get seven or eight yards consistently. And so they're going to have to play the run. And then that's how you open up the passing lanes. And that's how all this offense is, is, or I guess we're going to get an 80 yard touchdown here, but that's what this whole offense is. Parts one, two, and three. I'm telling you guys run the ball until they have to focus on stopping the run. And then you can start dotting them down the field. 
Now, before we get into the bread and butter pass play, which is bench, I'm going to talk about PA stretch shot, play action stretch shot. It is exactly what the title says. It is a shot play. It is a one play touchdown that beats every single coverage. All you got to do is make one simple adjustment. So PA stretch shot, we're going to call that. And to start out, we're going to go against a Tampa two. This is probably the hardest defense to beat for one play touchdown, in my opinion. But this is what the play art looks like to start out. And as always, guys, you see I'm on the right hash. You're going to want to run this from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field. This is the most important part. So that deep post route by Edelman, the one that's red, is the one that's beating the coverage. You want that on the wide side going to the short side. If I was on the left hash, I'd want to flip the play and have the post on the right. Okay, so here we're on the, on the right hash. I think I said that right. Here we're on the right hash. We want the post going to the right from the wide side to the short side. I can't emphasize that enough. And then on defense, we got a cover two, just a Tampa two. All right? And I don't have a, a skate artist quarterback, so I'm not going to be able to roll out or anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to run this play. Basically, you just block your tight ends and your running backs. You're blocking eight people here. I like to put them on delay fades uh, just in case the, the play is an open downfield. I can send them out on routes later. And then you're going to put that circle receiver on the right on a corner okay and then you're going to motion the post out now the reason you motion them out is if there's two high safeties it's either a cover two or a cover four both of those to be one play touchdowns you need the post out wide you can't have them in tight like that that's how you beat a cover three now to beat a cover two like i said motion them out wide so that's what your setup looks like and then again we got a cover two out here and then i'm going to double team this end right here and the, the biggest issue is just getting time. So here we wait. We see Edelman deep on the post. Just pass lead it right down the middle. And Edelman is slow as shit. All right? That man is slow as shit. And he just beat a cover two, which is the hardest coverage to beat, okay? So once again, we're going to go over it. You're going to put circle on a corner route. You're going to max protect everybody, including your running back. And then just motion Edelman out. And then like I said before, I'm going to put at least one of my tight ends on a delay fade, okay? And then here, double team the end just to give yourself a little bit more time. And then you just got to wait and hope your protection holds up. You see, once again, it held up. Pass lead right down the middle. And you split those safeties. It is very simple. I'm going to go over it one more time. I haven't even cut the video once. I'm showing you guys this works extremely consistent, consistently. So once again, corner route to circle, block everyone else, motion out the post. That's all you got to do. Double team this guy if you want. You just wait, wait, wait. Split the safeties, pass lead up. And Tom Brady, you fucking bum. So now I'm going to show you guys the same one play touchdown, except instead of cover two, it's going to be a cover three. So you see the cover three is all set up on defense. On offense, it's the PA stretch shot. Okay, it's the exact same setup. You can put circle on a corner route block everyone else and then what you can do to make him even more open is if you put the tight end on his side on a streak it's going to hold that safety towards the middle of the field okay and that's going to make the post even more open i'm going to show you guys right now what that looks like double team that end we are not getting the time we need but because it's so open we could throw it a little early and it's still a touchdown and again edelman slow as shit all right he is the worst person to run this with and it's still working all right, one more time. We're going to get to cover three here, guys, and I'll explain it once again. The right side receiver you want on a corner route. You want to block your tight ends. And then if you want, you can put that left side tight end on a streak. That is not necessary. That's just going to make him get even more open, okay? So we're just going to wait. The biggest question mark is getting the time we need. We do get the time, and it's a good throw from Brady, and that is a touchdown. I'm going to go in the replay just to solidify this one play touchdown. So once again, guys, the reason you're putting this right side guy on a corner route is because you're occupying this outside third right here the whole point is getting behind him and then the reason you put him on a streak is to keep this guy in the middle of the field because he's got to worry about the streak now and then of course as you can tell the post is just going to come across the face of the safety get in that little soft spot and take it in the end zone. it's pretty simple now, the last thing i want to show you guys is against a cover four so we're going to cover four drop out of quarters um because everybody likes when cover four drop show two so once again you're gonna do the same setup as a cover two it's going to be the same exact setup it's the corner from the right side receiver and then you motion out the post and then you guys should know how cover four beaters work by now you just gotta wait on that post route gets wide open and it's a great throw from brady for a touchdown that just got right behind the cover four i'll run it one more time for you guys just to solidify it so again the right side receiver on a corner route edelman is still in the post you just motion him out you can double team that end as always and this is against a quarters look and a bad throw by Brady, but it still gets open. 
Um, I'll show you guys in the replay what that looks like. So like any cover four beater in any Madden ever, it's just a deep post that's going to split those two safeties down the middle. The corner route kind of occupies him. He doesn't see any threats coming deep. So 25 right here, Harris kind of just gets his feet set. And then you got the post route coming deep in behind him. And that's why you pass leader to the right. And you should be able to fit that ball in there if you have high enough throw power. Do not run this play with a quarterback with low throw power because they will make you throw an interception. You need high throw power for this play to work. Now, the last play I want to get into is bench, and that's because this is the bread and butter passing play out of this formation. This is my go-to third and long play, okay? Because there's so much stuff you can do with this play, especially with Hot Route Master. So we're going to go against bench, and then to start, I want to show you against a cover two because that's when I like to run it the most. So we're going to go against a Tampa two. Now, if we look at the play, this is what it looks like standard, and the corner routes from the receivers are a little bit weird. Uh, they're, they're not super sharp cuts, so right off the bat, what I like to do is manually put them in corner routes, and because I have Hot Route Master, you're allowed to do that. So put those guys in corner routes. You can see the cuts are a lot sharper now. And also, practice mode plays a little weird. So these safeties are, are going to play pretty aggressively on the corner routes in uh in cover two in practice mode i'm not really sure why but in mutt i know for sure those safeties in a cover two are not going to play the corner routes so what you can do here is if you put the tight end on a streak you're essentially going to be able to get a corner route that goes behind the cloud flat pass lead it up and it's going to be a gain of like 30 yards so if you see we got a huge gain right there and there's not really any zone that's going to be able to cover this so that is going to demand user attention because we can throw that all day against a cover two unless they're using it using it downfield you see i'm just kind of swerve catching it inbounds and we're getting a 30 yard gain like every single time so if they're sitting in cover two and i come out in uh in deuce close they're gonna really have to worry about that corner route or else that's gonna be a big gain so once again that time i didn't put him on a streak and you're gonna see that safety comes over we still get the catch but or we dropped it but the safety's gonna come over and play that in mutt that's not gonna happen so you're gonna want to run the corner route to the wide side of the field um and then that's gonna give you the space you need once again just wait for him to get behind the cloud pass lead him up Swerve catch it inbounds. Beautiful play right there. Now, the reason I love this play so much is because that, that corner streak concept on the left to the wide side of the field is going to get open against virtually every single coverage in Mutt. Now, we're using regs, and Julian Edelman is honestly not the fastest receiver. He's probably not going to be able to get open against man coverage or anything like that. But in Mutt, if you have a really good receiver out there like Calvin Johnson with post flag elite, there's nothing they can really do to stop that except user it if you time the throw right based on the coverage so this is man coverage here we got sacked fuck me in the asshole once again we're just gonna look at that left side of the field it's man coverage once again right here and you can see the corner route is gonna toast it that's julian edelman okay this is not his forte no one's using this dude in mutt for this route and it's still working but against a cover three cover four no matter what they're gonna have to try really really hard to stop that concept on the left side of the field now if they're using their user to go over there and stop that then you have these two receivers on the right plus your running back to do with whatever you want. So like I said, you got a high route master. One of the great things you can do with high route master is put your running back on this Texas route, okay? This Texas route is like a V corner type thing. And if you push everybody off, all right, we're going to pretend this is what it looks like. You push everybody off. Look at how open this gets right here. And you got a good running back. That's going to be a, a possibility of getting a huge, like, look, look at that. I just took that for a touchdown, all right? And that, if you have, that's a mutt, that's Eric Dickerson and mutt, that's the same thing is going to happen all the time. So once again, I'm always to the wide side of the field going to have this corner route option. If I'm in the middle of the field, I'll probably do it on both sides. This is what my play will probably look like if I'm in the middle of the field and there's no way they're going to stop both. Another thing with these streaks from your tight ends, there's a lot of good tight ends in mutt. Look at this quick throw right there. Just possession catch it over the middle. That's a gain of like 20 right there. A quick throw on the streak if his users, if it's lacking, if you want to quick hike him, something like that. That's going to be a really easy gain as well. Now, guys, one of the main reasons I switched to Hot Route Master is so I have the ability to kind of make plays on the fly. So, again, one of the plays they had in Madden in the past, it might be in the game this year, I don't really know, but they have that street corner concept on the left, and then the the they had a drag from the right receiver, and then kind of like this trail route. I'm going to put the running back on a trail route. Motion him to the right here, and you get this weird trail concept, which is really really effective so once again we're going to take a look at this wait for the the running back to get open and you see downfield that's again like a gain of like 25 and you got a good running back you can take that all the way to the end zone so there's so many things you can do with this play with hot route master my my favorite thing to do as always though is i use it to beat cover two because cover two for the rest of this ebook is probably going to be their best shot of defending most of these formations but against deuce close specifically that is the main reason i started running it is to get that deep corner against a cover two 
and you're gonna get a gain like 25 30 every time so i did go a little faster in this video let me know what you guys thought this is part four i do have part five coming out later this week to finish up the ebook um but that should do it for the deuce close if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments this is a formation i've been running a lot lately it is very effective very hard to stop because everyone knows in madden 20 run game and corner routes and that this formation has both of them so your opponent's really gonna be beating his head through his goddamn monitor but if you did like it be sure to leave a like down below again there's gonna be a lot more content coming out this week guys be prepared for it stay safe with the coronavirus shit the shit's no joke take it seriously uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Now I'm on the outside.